Hello, hello everyone, this is Soviet Russian Bear, and I think the time has come to record uh, session number nine of our Omegle conversations. Yeah, let's do it. Recently, uh, horrendous, horrendous war crimes committed by the Ukrainian army and neo-Nazi battalions were uncovered, so let's talk about that. And uh, I don't know, I want to talk about it so bad. So, no more chit chat. Let's start the show. Three, two, one. Hello. Hey, hello. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good, man. What about you? I'm fine. Where are you from? Sweden. Sweden. Okay. I am from Russia. Nice, man. Nice. Yeah. So, what do you think? What? I, I like. I, I have no problem with the Russian people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go on. But I, I'm not a fan of the government. But I have no problem with the people. Okay. That's a decent position. Yeah. So, what do you think about the current situation? I don't like what Russia is doing. I I don't like it at all. Okay. Mm? So, I don't know. Have you heard the reports of uh, Ukrainian military, Ukrainian soldiers shooting captured captives, Russian captured soldiers in the foot? Yeah, I've heard. I've heard some of this. Yes. And uh, like. In Mariupol, a girl, a woman was found, uh, and uh, the neo Nazis burned a swastika on her belly or something. Yeah, yeah, I've heard reports of bad incidents on both sides. But I won't, I won't, I will not jump to conclusions till I've heard what's true or not. Well, in this day and age, there is a lot of misinformation. Like, it's Indeed. hard to tell where the truth is, where is the false. Hmm. But in my personal opinion, and not just because I am Russian, and I think that um, the reports from our Ministry of Defense are much closer to the truth than the reports from, from the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense. Hmm. Run away. Yeah. Hi. Slava Russia. Slava Russia, da. Where are you from? Iowa, in the Iowa. US. Okay. Yeah, great. So, as I can see, well, I'm talking about the current situation. So, what do you think? Like, well, I think that uh, Ukraine being separate from Russia is about like uh, the South being separate from America. The language distinction is the same. The geographical distinction is the same. It is just, um, if the South is not allowed to be free, then why should you create? Okay, yeah. So, and um, have you heard about people like the neo-Nazi Azov Regiment and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Although it strikes me as weird that the Russian propaganda machine at the same time pushes the narrative they are there to wipe out the Nazi Azov regime and at the same time there to save the white race. Well, I don't know. Imagine, imagine, like, uh, in the, imagine, like, in the U.S. there is an or, mi- paramilitary organization that, that shares the all of the KKK ideas, like, I can't imagine that. Oh, there are, everywhere in the U.S. They're more common than you think. They just have to be underground because yes. our government is very good at picking them out. Yes, yes. But the the difference is that in Ukraine, they don't have to be underground. Before the operations, the Russian operation started, they were like openly endorsed by the Kiev government and they felt themselves like, like they're running the country. Uh, because they were... Uh mercenaries essentially they mm-hmm. were funded and given arms by the Kiev mm-hmm. government supported mm-hmm. in all but name mm-hmm. because 
they were politically exigent at the time. However, the current Kiev government, I believe, if, um, if things were different and the republics of Luhansk and Donetsk were not in existence, mm-hmm. then the Alpha Regiment would never have achieved the popularity it did. However, since it was politically exigent at the time, mm-hmm. they were politically supported. Okay. So... Have you heard the reports about the atrocities of Ukrainian soldiers, like shooting Russian captive soldiers in the leg, beating them up, like stabbing them in, like stabbing in the eye with a knife? And uh, oh, like, I have not just heard of them; I have seen it. I know yeah. Ukrainian soldiers on the internet, and, and they post videos of these. Yeah, that's fucking, and they, and, oh. and they heard the reports. I saw. I know. I saw one. Do you know what a Colombian necktie is? Mm-hmm. Yes. They performed that on three Russian soldiers they had captured. Yes, yes, the Colombian necktie. Yeah, I heard about that. And they also, like, uh, they in Mariupol, the Azov members, they captured a lady, a woman, and they burned the Nazi swastika on her belly. No, I've seen the, I've seen the uh, Nazi soldiers once. They took a, a woman, not from Mariupol, but it was from, um, I think, Kharkov, Kharkiv. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And... Uh, they took her out, she was speaking Russian, and they told her repeatedly, speak Ukrainian, speak properly, speak properly. And she, she just, she couldn't get rid of her accent. So they, 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 they did, they did like they did in the Congo, and they, um, they put tires around her and they lit them up mm-hmm. fire. Yeah, yeah, that's horrific, but in the way... Oh, I saw, I saw one, Eva. Have you seen the one where they have a woman out there, she's... They tell her to dance, to dance, and she starts kind of dancing a little mm-hmm. bit, and then yeah, they yeah, yeah. beat her over the head with a board, yeah. and they put a bullet in her head. Yes, that's horrific, but but the problem is that your mainstream media is saying that, the, oh, it's Russians who are the bad guys, like, you, they portray the neo-Nazi regime in Ukraine as some sort of free, democratic, peace-loving country, the big bad Russia is... Oh, they tell us, oh, they love the trans people in Ukraine, they are very <laughs> accepting their Western democracy, even though I've seen the articles from where Ukrainian soldiers pull these trans women off mm-hmm. of buses saying, you are a man, you must fight, and he says, no, no, I am woman, and he says, ha, ha, ha. you think you can fool me? Here is gun, go fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I also heard a lot of, like, reports in from foreign students themselves, like, they, like, in Ukraine, there are, there were, I mean, a lot of, uh, students from like countries like India and some African like sub-Saharan African countries so when they were trying to leave the war zone like they just get they just are pushing them out of the buses out of trains and say no Ukrainians first you're black you just you have you can walk if you're black or Indian like I don't think this type of racism well, belongs then what they in- tell us is that these people are drafted and this is oh well these are these are refugees who conveniently claim not to be Ukrainian when it, when they need to fight for their country. So mm-hmm. these are people you should not sympathize mm-hmm. with. And it's... <laughs> you cannot believe it. You cannot yeah. believe it. Yeah, yeah. And I think that this type of racism does not belong in the 21st century. Well, there are types of racism that do, but this is not one of them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good. You're actually a good, smart, like thinking person because on Omegle, I'm, I've met people who threatened to kill me. I met a guy from America too, and he he showed me a bullet, and he says, "If you come to America, that's what awaits you." Like are lots of bullets. <laughs> well, if you come to America, I have not only many bullets, oh, wrong end, but I have a gun with which to shoot them. Mm-hmm. So I will protect you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you for speaking to me. It's been nice talking to you. Of course. And this is from your homeland. Oh, yeah. The TT. For sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. It's been nice talking to you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye. The Svidania. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm fine, and what about you? I'm doing good, thank uh, wh- you. Uh, where are you from? I am from Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan, oh. Yes, y- yeah. you are from Russia, I can guess, from the flag behind Yes, I am, yeah. 
That's very nice. Are you in Russia right now or something Yes, else? I am in Russia. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, thank you. So, um, I'm actually here to talk to people about the current like situation, like between uh, Ukraine and Russia. That's so, nice. Yeah. So, do you have any position? Have you picked a side, or you don't support ne- or you support neither side? Uh, I have a position. Okay. And, uh, supporting in in two different ways you know the people is different the government is different because mm-hmm. you can't say i support russia the whole and i can't support the uh, ukraine the whole okay ukraine ukraine i support the people mm-hmm. but i don't support the government in ukraine mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, see. but in russia i support I, I i support the government like okay. and and the people have nothing to do in with it you know so it's the government who's doing okay the, that's yeah. what I, I, I. Maybe you won't understand, but like I support Russia, but okay. I don't support uh, the Ukraine government. But the people have nothing to do with the government. Oh yeah, that's yeah, different. I totally understand you. I absolutely, and uh, you see, my friend, I've seen reports of the atrocities committed by the Ukrainian military against the captive Russian soldiers, like shooting them in the leg, beating them, like, uh, just smash their skulls, uh, fragment mm-hmm. their bones, like, performing Colombian neckties. Do you know what a Colombian necktie is? Nah, but oh. it sounds, like, very dangerous, you very, know, very bad. Yeah, yeah. Violent. Yeah, but the problem is that the Western mainstream media says that the only bad guy here is Russia. Oh, bad, evil Russia, mm. invaded freedom, loving... <laughs> You see, for me, like personally, I think God God gave us brain yeah. to think. So for me, I just don't follow the news. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't follow the news because for me, mm-hmm. especially like because I am Muslim. Okay. So in news, you know, Muslims are made so bad already. Mm-hmm. But I know like Muslims are not bad like that. So okay. again, with the news, they say Russia is bad, Putin is bad, but I don't trust them. Okay. So it's the similar for us in Islam, you know, so I... I want to take it, uh, I don't want to follow the news. It's just okay. uh, propaganda and, you know, mm-hmm. they, they bring up stuff. It's okay. different than what's the reality. That's, yes. that's what I think. So. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Great. It's been nice Thank you. talking Thank to you. you. So Thank much. you so much. Bye-bye. Do свидания. Thank you for your work, man. Thank you and keep helping others to understand what's going on. The yeah, reality. Surely, sure, because, sure. Yeah. Yeah, because... It's very different than what they're showing in the news, yes, and yes. Uh, it's, it's. I totally agree that it's Russia's. You know, it's their right to yeah. control that area, and then they can say the red zone, and you know that NATO. What's going on? They want mm-hmm. Ukraine in NATO yeah. and all this stuff. I understand. It's 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 a big deal. It's yeah. not just something small. That Russia is just taking Ukraine. You know, they're not stupid. Russia is not. Mm-hmm. Putin is not stupid. Mm-hmm. Just to take Ukraine for yeah. no reason. Yes. There there is big reasons behind. Like I, I try to study and research all this stuff. So. Thank you. Yeah. From, great. Great. From, I also. From my side. Yeah. From my side, don't worry. I I understand what's going on, and I always tell my friends here in Pakistan. You know, yeah, I try to I, explain them. Yeah, good. You do a great job yourself, and I encourage everyone not to just believe blindly what the media is telling you. Just do your own research. Yeah, perfect, man. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you so much. Bye, bye. Do you too. Take care, brother. Uh, do свидания. Hello. Russia. Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you, brother? I'm fine. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Serbia. Yes, yeah, Serbia. Oh, Serbia. Okay, okay, good. Why is your screen black? Are you from Russia? Yes, I'm from Russia. Where is your? Why is your screen black? Мы подражаем русскую страну. Mm-hmm. Специальные операции и демилитаризации украинские mm-hmm. фашистические державы. Yes, yes, yes. Great, great. So you're from Serbia, yes. right? So. Да. I heard that the majority, the absolute majority of Serbs support Russia. Is that true or not? It's true. It's true. But, you know, um, like our government, it's pro-Western because they're corrupt and they're paid by Russian, by Western, you know, puppets. 
who were paid for Americans. So that's why we kind of have to be silent. But people on the streets there for Russia. Oh yes, I've seen that. I think like I think like I've seen huge like Russian flag on the people marching on the streets. Yeah, I see the support. Like probably the only country in Europe who supports us like that, where where, where we have that much support. Yeah, yeah, and support is general because yeah. uh, we kind of experience Western propaganda and also bombs. So we just experience firsthand how it's to be manipulated and tricked and then bombarded. So we know what they're doing, and trust us, it's like that's why we're close to Russia. Oh yeah, because oh absolutely. Know- mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Like, and don't you see the hypo- hypocrisy of the Western countries? Like, oh, Kosovo is allowed to break away from Serbia, but Crimea is not allowed to break away from Ukraine. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. It's a double standards. Yeah. I, I, it's a double standard. I can't stand double standards. Like, if they want, like, uh, it's. It seems like. All people are equal, but some are more equal than others, like uh, Orwell's Animal Farm. <laughs> yeah, of course. And and when they bombarded Serbia, they called that uh, Milosrdni Anjo, which is like mercifully angel. I don't know. But basically, the, and and they were killing uh, children uh, and innocent people, and they called that. Oh, we were we were we were trying to hit military, and. Uh, you know, like people still till this day have consequences of that. Oh yeah, uh, there is more cancer in territory, particularly close to Kosovo than any part of Serbia. So even Albania just can feel damage that they did. You know. Oh yeah. And when they when they do special operation, they call that you know they're mm-hmm. gonna free the people from Islam, from this, from that. Mm-hmm. But they're just invading countries year after year. Mm-hmm. So now Russia told them like, don't do that because we don't want NATO really close to our doors yes. and they knew that but yes. they were thinking putin will not do nothing so you know this is this is only thing that he could do it because nobody wants war you know let's be honest nobody, nobody wants particularly mm. slavic brothers to to just die you know yes but he didn't have a choice yes that's why i am not glad about this war is bad like in general but especially the war when like two brother nations killing each other imagine the united states fighting canada i I can't imagine that i mean russia i mean it's kind of their they don't have this um, you know like american they're immigrants they don't have this national uh in them they just uh they're kind of nation but not nation but slavic people we kind of feel each other and we know we kind of are the same, even though we were kind of far away, you know. Yeah. And I cannot imagine, particularly Russian and Ukrainians, like they're they're basically same people. It's just ideology that defines us in, in this moment. But you know, like ethnically, m- like in a way that they're acting, that they're kind mm-hmm. of behaving, it's it's the same, you know. Yes, and I've seen reports of a uh, horrific atrocity against, like, uh, of uh, Ukrainian military against the uh, Russian captive soldiers, like shooting them in the leg and leaving them to bleed to death, and like crushing their skulls, crushing their bones, and uh, fucking performing fucking Colombian neckties on Russian soldiers and mm. burning Nazi swastikas on some woman. And this is Azov? This is particularly Azov? Like, yes, you know? yes, Azov. But but the Western media is, oh, it's uh, Russia is the only bad guy. Russia is an invading a sovereign, peaceful nation. Uh, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Can't stand the lies, yeah. man. And, 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 they're, and they're like, and, and they're supporting fascists, you know? Yeah, like, you know, that yes. thing, Slav Ukraini, this is now allowed, and this is fascist, uh, like, you know, greetings, basically. Yeah, so but I guess... They're allowed I, that, they're mm-hmm. allowed to talk against Russian soldiers. Mm-hmm. It's like free speech now on Facebook, if you're talking just... Mm-hmm. If you say, I'm gonna kill Russian soldier, it's allowed now mm-hmm. on, your, on, on Facebook. But I guess it's called kosher fascism, <laughs> okay? Kosher. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, but you, you know, like uh, you know, in ni- 1941, mm-hmm. Serbia was uh, like occupied by all fascist nation, like yeah. exactly like right now. So there is no big change. It's really it's not like all those country who was against us not back then. They're against us right now. Yeah. So so nothing kind of changed. They kind of change their uh, outfit, but they're still wolves. You know, as we said. Mm-hmm. You know. 
you can wolves can change their outfit, but they cannot change themselves basically. Yeah, wolves so this is kind of thing that you can see. Wolves in sheep's skin. Yeah, yeah, this mm. is English kind of yes, mm. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. so so I, I don't know like Russian I I'm also like heartbroken for Russian people because they will suffer because uh, of uh, of Western arrogancy, you know? Yeah. Because all the all those sanctions and, and shit and uh, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, basically. Yeah, but I'm you kind see, of my really friend... bored because the we had sanction like in nineties, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, like I remember stories that they're gonna uh, that they didn't had bread, you know, basically, and yeah. uh, it was really kind of struggling. Yeah, and you know what else? Like, like recently uh, there was an anniversary of uh, like uh, U.S. bombardment of Yugoslavia, and like a day before yeah. that, Madeleine Albright died. Like, I hope that witch burns in hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it's like there there is no way that she's gonna avoid the hell. If yeah. you ask me, because or because maybe, those kind of people, they didn't just invade Serbia, they invade Iraq, they invade yeah. a lot of countries, and yeah. and imagine like children, imagine a family that are still don't have their their uh, like uh, the most beloved people, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. and and because of they they want to expire their empires, so oh, and they want oil, they want money, it just mm -hmm. greed and evil. So it's like it, when they tell me and sell me stories about how great them, their democracies i it's like you know you know that they're bullshitting you yeah you like, just, you like just, it's so obvious i cannot believe just laugh in their believe, face like, dude just laugh in their face yeah yeah and a lot of lot of people like believe their propaganda this is the most like mind-boggling thing that you can mm -hmm. imagine like right now they believe that russia are like bad guys you know oh yeah like putin is a new hitler and russia is a, uh, the evil like evil empire that's what they say. Yeah, and 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 there is like Russophobia, Russophobia that I didn't, never mm -hmm. saw in my life. Like I always knew, like they hate Serbians and Russians, but you know this kind of uh, this kind of hate towards one one nation was in, unimaginable. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like. Uh... So yeah, I've met I've I've met like Serbs on Omegle, and um, the apps the all of Serbs I've met, they you guys all support Russia. Thank you so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and tell me, like, what is the last? What is the latest news on from the front? Like, is there some? I heard like Russian made some progress in that field. Oh yes, in Donbass, pr progress in Donbass. I think several uh, settlements were liberated. Like Mariupol is almost uh, all of Mar all, almost all of Mariupol has been re liberated. I think like the only like uh, the, um, the neo-Nazi holdout is the the Azovstal steel works. Um, this is the main mm -hmm. like stronghold, neo-Nazi stronghold. Uh, I don't know what's happened on the Kiev front exactly. But uh, in Donbass, I mean, Russia, like from today, I heard there is like big uh, improvements on uh, Ruskastrana. Oh yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yes. It, it it definitely there definitely were improvements. Yeah, there have been improvements. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is good. This, this is, is good. good. So, yeah, Slava Bog. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, man. Thank you for talking to me. Like I appreciate people like yeah, you, especially too. Serbs. Like. And all Serbs I've met on Amigal are supporting me. No, there was actually one lady who was neutral, but I've still, I've still, I have not met anyone from Serbia who, who would oppose Russia. No, 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 no. We, we are Russian brothers, like, yeah. and this is how it's going to be mm -hmm. forever, you know? Yeah, but only... So you I'm, have our side. Also. Yeah, only I met only one, like, woman from... I believe Novi Sad, and she said that she's neutral. Mm -hmm. She doesn't support either side, but yeah, all yeah. others, which, which, is, which is also kind of legit, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, like most of Serbian, mm -hmm. like in in their truly soul, they really mm -hmm. support Russia. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. До свидания, пока. Yeah. До свидания. Yeah, another Serb. Great. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Where are you from? 
Sorry? Where are you from? I'm asking you. Bulgaria. Okay, Bulgaria. Good. I'm actually here to talk to people about the current situation. So, what do you think about this whole Russia and Ukraine thing? Um, I think that uh, there should be more interference from international forces because living in 2002, uh, 22, sorry, the world shall not be undergoing a conflict that has gone to such big measures. Well, it's just a local conflict, you know. It's not local for as long as it is. It has impacted the global market. Well, market economic economy is economy, and like war is war. And uh, you see, if uh, foreign forces like NATO are going to intervene like directly, this could lead to World War Three. I know. I'm not talking about NATO. But some sort of of sanction and international policy, whether it is social or political or economical, it should be implemented. It is unacceptable for lives of innocent people and civilians to be taken in 2022 due to an armed conflict. In terms of human rights, it is totally unacceptable. Totally. In my opinion, it should be established a specific ad hoc court to judge the crimes of war so there will not be as many people and soldiers as there are for the moment. But why are you here to talk about war? You're a Russian or Ukrainian? I'm Russian. Yes. Why are you so curious about other people's opinion? Well, that's what I do. Like I'm, I come here on Amigle to like talk to people to see what they think to maybe to debate. You're a researcher or a journalist? Just an enthusiast. Ah, uh -huh. you're in favor of the war. Of well, the war, oh, sorry, no, not in favor of the war, but the of the idea that Crimea belongs to Russia. Yes, Crimea belongs to Russia, because if Kosovo can succeed, why Crimea can't succeed? Kosovo is an independent state. Yes, it succeeded from Serbia. Kosovo has never, ever been Serbia. Kosovo has its authenticity in regards of culture, distinctive from Serbia, authenticity in regards of language, distinctive from Serbia because they speak Albanian, authenticity in regards of their history because Kosovo has been part of Albania, not Serbia. They were actually part of Yugoslavia before 2000, and, uh, before it, before NATO bombed uh, Yugoslavia. They were part of. Yugoslavia and... NATO has never bombed. NATO has interfered. What are you talking about, lady? It had bombed. It did. It's just fucking crazy. It wasn't a bombing. It was interference. Russia bombs without need to bomb. NATO interferes for protection of the masses. Yeah, sure, 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 yeah. Keep telling yourself that. Bye, lady. I have no... Yeah. Hello. Hello, why are you in my fridge? Uh I mean the webcam is in your fridge. Where are, are you, you from? Eating? No, where are you from? United States of America. Okay, which state, which city? Come on, don't run away. You want to stay in my fridge? You can stay in my fridge. <laughs> you know, life is too short. It's nice and cool here. 
It's nice and cool here. It is. Okay, I'm gonna try to find someone else's fridge. Все, до часа дойдет время и все. Nasty man. Hi. Fuck Ukraine. Excuse me? I said fuck Ukraine. Ah, yeah. Слава России. А, привет, друг. Привет. Товарищ, товарищ. <laughs> you like, you like, you like the rig, bro? Yeah, I do. Your gear. Oh yeah. Oh, military knife. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, better than that. Look. Look what I can do. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. You like that? Yes, this is a M4. No? Uh, yeah, it's an M4 clone. This is an AR-15. Same technology, right? Oh yeah. Same. same all, all the action, everything. Same. It's just this is a sporting variant. It's only semi-auto, sadly. Oh yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Well. <clears throat> At least you are not threatening uh, me with it, and uh, it's a good yeah. thing because, like, I met people here with guns on Omegle, and when I say I am Russian, they say, "If you ever come to America, this is what's like." <laughs> this is... No, no, you're not Putin. You're not Putin. <laughs> okay, I'm just yeah. a Russian person. Exactly, exactly. And and what can you do? Mm. You know what I mean, you can't do anything. But the thing is, that I wouldn't even tell you to do anything because I I know. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, it's it's people are stupid. Yeah, people are stupid. yeah. People, uh, some people are very stupid. Yeah. Yes, yes. You you have a good one, Tovarish. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, bye, my friend. Bye, bye. Anyway, this has been Soviet Russian Bear. Peace, love, and prosperity to all of my beautiful, amazing, wonderful subscribers. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. And if you like my channel and my content, please click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Anyway, Soviet version bear out. До свидания.